hi everyone today i just want to share with you something really really important about how we can overcome and make it to heaven uh it's a very it's a very very common saying in christianity where people christians say we're not under the law uh christianity is not about religious rules it's about having a relationship with jesus that's really really true christianity is not the law it's not being under the law like the way it was in the old covenant and then christianity is truly about having a relationship with jesus now what has been getting me concerned is because a lot of people when they hear that statement when when people say christianity is about having a relationship with jesus a lot of people get excited or for the for the wrong reasons they get excited not because they are happy that they are now going to know jesus but they get excited because they think now they have a license to sin because a lot of people they think like oh because it's about a relationship with jesus therefore i can live however i want i can live in sin it doesn't matter as long as i have a relationship with jesus the bible says that two cannot walk together unless they agree so it's impossible in the first place for anyone to continue living in sin and have a relationship with jesus because when you have a relationship with jesus your life is going to change and you are not going to continue living in sin so most of the people who are getting excited that christianity is about a relationship it's not about religious rules they don't really have a relationship with jesus in the first place what is a relationship with jesus you pursue a relationship with jesus by every day reading the bible it's a daily thing it's not a once off thing you don't just do it once and for all you do it daily the bible says anyone who wants jesus was saying anyone who wants to come after me must deny themselves take up their cross and follow me it's a daily thing you don't just do it once and then you forget so here's the difference a person who's merely following religious rules such a person can never make it to heaven and why can't that person make it to heaven because it's impossible because jesus is the only way to heaven and because jesus is the only way to heaven it's impossible for someone who has not accepted jesus and for someone who does not have a relationship with jesus it's impossible for that person to be holy no matter how many rules they follow they are always going to find themselves struggling with sin they are constantly going to be stuck in habitual sin that's just the way it is because jesus is the only way and the only way to be free from sin is to surrender and have a relationship with jesus so here's the difference a person who's merely following religious rules and does not have a relationship with jesus this is what happens to them they hear about the judgment of god they hear about heaven and hell and they hear about how god hates sin and then their reaction instead of them when they realize that they are in sin they realize that they are sinners and then they know that, uh, that they are not going to make it to heaven without sin their reaction instead of them humbling themselves and asking for the savior jesus to help them to come into their lives to be to fill them with his holy spirit and to transform them what this person does is when they hear about sin and how god hates it they think to themselves oh god hates sin i'm going to try really really hard never to sin again whatever kind of sin that they are struggling with they are going to say i'm going to do my best from now on in order for me never to commit this sin again and then this person does not pursue a relationship with Jesus. They don't read the Bible every day. They may go to church. They can go to church. They can read the Bible maybe once in a while. But they do not have a personal, close relationship with Jesus. Whereby you are pursuing him every day. Reading the Bible. Praying every day. Seeking him. 
live, uh, uh, living for him, being led by his spirit. So you are relying on your own strength to overcome. And you say, because God had sin, let me stay. Let me try with all my might to stay away from this sin in order for me to make it to heaven. And the result of that is that this person is always, always going to find themselves stuck in sin. They are going to be staying away from some things. They are going to be following. Oh, God doesn't like liars, so I'm going to stop lying. God doesn't want us to be gossiping. I'm going to stop this. But they are going. They are always going to have some other sin that they are stuck in, and they are going to find that they can't be free from that sin. When they hear about hell, when they hear about the judgment of God, they are going to try with all their might to stay away from their sin. But it's only going to last maybe a day or two. And they're going to find themselves back in their sin again. Because Jesus is the only way, there's no other way that a person can be free from their sin. Now what Jesus wants is for this person who has realized that they are sinners and they realize that they can't make it to heaven with their sin. What Jesus wants is not for this person to rely on their own strength and might to overcome. He wants them to realize their need for a savior who is Jesus, who has already paid the price with his blood. He wants this person to humble themselves before Jesus. The Bible says, submit yourselves to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. How do you submit yourself to God? You humble yourself because you know I'm a sinner. I'm not going to make it to heaven with my sin. And I need someone to save me from this sin. And that's Jesus. And therefore, because you know you need a savior, you start pursuing that savior in order for you. you, you the first step you make is you accept him as your Lord and Savior. You ask him to forgive you of your sin. And he forgives you. He forgives you. And all your sins are washed away. But after that, you start developing a close bond with Jesus, which is actually a relationship. And you do that by reading the Bible every day. Praying every day. Because each and every day, you know your need for a savior. You know that if I stay away from Jesus, I'm going to find myself back in my sin. If I stay away from Jesus, I'm going to find myself following after the desires of the flesh. The Bible says we're supposed to walk in the spirit, not in the flesh. A person who's merely following rules because they've been told not to steal, therefore they are not stealing without having a relationship with Jesus. That person is going to find themselves constantly falling. Every now and then they're going to be falling in their sin. And they're going to have habitual sin in their life. But a person who, who knows God doesn't want me to sin. And uh, God doesn't want me to steal. And this person has been stealing. And they're addicted to stealing. God wants that person to humble themselves submit themselves to God by going in prayer, surrendering their life to Jesus and asking him to fill them with his spirit. And as that person starts walking with God, walking with God, you walk with God by reading his word, by listening to what he has to tell you. As you read the Bible, as you pray every single day, the voice of God is going to become very clear and you're going to be walking with God. And the more you are, you are reading the Bible and praying, the more you are going to start hating sin. Because the Bible says every tree brings forth its fruit, fruit of its kind. An apple tree does not struggle to bring up apples. It bears apples effortlessly. It's natural. A person who is born of the Holy Spirit does not struggle to bear fruits of the Holy Spirit. It all happens naturally. That's just how it is. And a person who is walking in the flesh does not struggle to bear fruits of the flesh. It happens naturally. That is the reason why 
when you do not have a relationship with Jesus, your struggle is going to be for you not to sin. You're going to be having a hard time. You're, going, you're always going to be stressing, let me not sin, let me not sin. But when you, when you have a relationship with Jesus and you start walking with him, your desires start changing. That's why Jesus said, my yoke is easier. My burden is light. Because as you start pursuing Jesus by reading the Bible every day, by praying every day, being obedient to him, you're no longer going to start struggling to stay away from sin. Actually, what's going to be difficult for you is for you to sin. Because sin will become tormenting to you. And even when you do sin, you're not going to be at peace. You're going to feel tormented. And you're going to want to just run back to Jesus. And to ask him to forgive you and to be right with Jesus. And then you feel like you're home again. Because a tree brings forth after its kind. Because you are, you are born of the Holy Spirit. It's natural for you to be holy. So when Jesus doesn't want you to do something it's not going to be something that's so difficult for you to do because the holy spirit is going to empower you that's the kind of rest that jesus came to give us we abide in him it's an everyday thing but if we are far away from jesus if we are not reading the bible every day if we are not seeking jesus every day if we are not walking in the spirit we are always going to be struggling with sin. And then we'll find that we are merely trying to follow rules. And it's going to be impossible for us to be holy. Because Jesus is the one who makes us holy. And it's impossible for anyone to be holy without Jesus. Therefore, what Jesus wants is for us to come into his rest. When you start reading the Bible, I want anyone who's still stuck in sin, I want you to try this every single day firstly i want you to recognize your need for jesus recognize the fact that you need jesus to save you from that sin don't just say i'm going to try with all my might not to do this that will never work because you will always go back to the same thing but what i'm asking you to do is recognize your need for a savior and ask jesus to save you from your sin ask him to make you to hate that sin and then each and every day you start walking in holiness by being obedient to him it starts by crucifying the flesh just like uh, in physical death if a person is trying to kill you you're not going to just give in and want to die if someone is trying to kill you you're going to struggle with all your might to stay alive it's the same with the flesh that's why it's self-denial it won't just happen that from nowhere you hate sin no the first step when you realize you are a sinner you don't cling to your sin and say oh i'll continue sinning until jesus makes me hate this sin no <laughs> then you you have not repented but what i'm talking about is when you realize that you are a sinner you willingly because you know that jesus does not like this sin you must willingly be ready to let it go and you do let it go but because you know how weak you are and that you are you, that if you don't walk with jesus if jesus doesn't help you you are going to go back to your sin so you start pursuing a relationship with jesus every day in order for you to walk close to him you abandon your sin. That's why the Bible says repent. It's you to take the first step of repentance. You don't stay in your sin and then one day Jesus is just going to show up. You repent. You abandon your sin. But if you repent and then you do not now start pursuing a relationship with Jesus, very soon you're going to go back to your vomit. But what God wants is when you repent, you now start praying, you start reading the Bible, you surrender your life and start knowing Jesus. 
you ask God to fill you with his Holy Spirit. And when he does, every single day you're supposed to be pursuing Jesus, no matter how busy. That's how a relationship is. It's about time. You have to give him time. You can't be close to someone whom you are not spending time with. You have to, you have to be spending time with him. And as you are spending time with him, he is going to be changing you. It's a process. But as you invest time with Jesus every single day, there comes a time when the very thing that you are stuck in, you are going to, de to detest it. That's what I'm talking about, about his yoke being easy. Because if you are not pursuing a relationship with him, you are going to be struggling to stay away from that sin. But if you are pursuing a relationship with him every day, reading the Bible, praying, seeking Jesus, there comes a time when you will hate those things. You will love the things that God loves and you will hate what he hates. Therefore, obedience will be natural to you. Like an apple tree doesn't struggle to bring forth apples, you will not struggle to bring forth fruits of righteousness. You will not struggle to stay away from sin. And sin won't be your desire anymore. Therefore, that's what Jesus, that's the freedom that Jesus has come to give us. A lot of people rejoice about the freedom because they think Jesus died in order for them to be free to live however they want as long as they have professed Jesus. The Bible says many are called, few are chosen. Why? Many are called, many are professing Jesus. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. But few will be chosen because out of the many that are that are called out of the many that are professing Jesus as their Lord and Savior, few are actually living their lives with Jesus being their Lord and Savior. Because who is the Lord? Meaning you obey your Lord. Because many are still obeying the desires of their flesh. And that's because they don't have a relationship with Jesus. That's why I keep telling people that you need a relationship with Jesus. And you only have that relationship if every day, not some days, every single day, you need to read the Bible, you need to pray. Let me tell you something. The only reason you are here on this earth is to worship Jesus. That's all. So it doesn't make sense for anyone to say that they're too busy, that they cannot afford to pray every day maybe they can only afford to pray twice a week or they can only afford to read the bible twice a week it means you've misplaced your priorities because you are here to prepare for eternity you are created to worship jesus you are here to worship him so no matter how busy your schedule is everything else doesn't matter but jesus is eternal Pursuing a relationship with him, that's an eternal investment. So if you don't have time to pray every day, if you don't have time to seek Jesus every day, then you need to realign your priorities. But the thing is, you cannot have a relationship with Jesus without you praying every day. And I'm not talking about two minutes prayers. Imagine uh, what kind of relationship can you have with someone whom you're only talking to two minutes every day. And then here's this other person whereby you are spending maybe even an hour with that person. Who am I going to be close to? Because we are busy uh, doing other things, the things of the world, the things of the flesh. But we don't have time for Jesus. Therefore, we are going to be walking in the flesh. Whatever you are feeding. That's the tree that will grow. And whatever tree that will grow, that's the fruit that, that will be born from it. So we have to feed the spirit man. We have to walk in the spirit. You do that by, you need to read the Bible. I would advise you to, instead of, uh, p some people struggle to read the Bible because they want to read like random verses. Maybe they just read a few random verses for five minutes and then they pray for five minutes and they think they can have a relationship with Jesus. No, it's an investment. You need to, to start reading the Bible. I, I would personally advise you to go book by book 
because that way you are going to understand better for example if you want to read galatians instead of just going to um uh, let me just check out galatians 5 1 today but i would advise you like you read the whole book of galatians you don't necessarily have to finish a book in a day you read up to the, the time that you feel like it's enough but it has to be something significant maybe like 30 minutes reading the bible if you really do want a relationship maybe like 30 minutes reading the bible and maybe at least an hour in prayer that's what i would recommend because if you're just spending two minutes in prayer you're never going to have a relationship with jesus you're always going to be living in the flesh few will be chosen because few are following after the things of the spirit there are so many distractions but let's stay focused christianity is about a relationship if you just try by all your might you will fail there's only one way jesus and when you start spending time with jesus you're going to fall in love with him obeying him won't be a burden therefore his burden is light his yoke is easy and you're going to overcome as long as you're walking with jesus you are going to make it to heaven god bless you